It's another morning here. It's another meditation there. Today, we're going to get straight into it. As always, singing bowl of love, compassion and joy. Absorb these vibrations to live a wonderful life. Nice deep breaths in, slowly releasing, nice deep breath in, slowly releasing, and we are in, we're in the zone, just focusing on the breath. No time to waste. Just pure awareness of the breath. If you have a routine, then occasionally it's good to break the routine so you know you're not attached to it. For instance, the singing bowl. Maybe don't use it. Maybe you have a meditation cushion or a meditation blanket which you use every meditation. Just see if you can do without them for a week. See how it feels. It's a good practice to observe attachment because in the end attachment it causes misery because what happens when my singing bowl goes missing I get miserable oh my singing bowl where is it I lose all my practice all my presence likewise with my meditation cushion and my meditation blanket if they were to get damaged or go missing, would I maintain calm? Would I be able to meditate? So it's very good practice to break from your traditions and lose everything, all possessions, and see what you're really attached to. See how it feels losing that what you love. Maybe if you're feeling strong enough, you could maybe give it away. Give something away that you truly love. Possession wise. A selfless act of generosity. And then see how it feels inside once you've done it, what you're looking for is a continuation of the peace and tranquility you feel during meditation. If you can give away your most prized possession and feel peaceful afterwards, then you know you're heading in the right direction. It's really worth watching your attachments, items of clothing, all your possessions, basically. See how it feels. You can just imagine it if you can't bear to lose them. Just imagine giving them away and imagine how it would feel. You're not looking for any sadness or misery in these thoughts. Just acceptance. If it gets too much, you're aware that you have your breath as a tool to calm yourself down and bring yourself back to presence.
another good experiment is to commit a selfless act of kindness. So give something away or give something to someone without them knowing who the giver was. Maybe donate anonymously to a charity. Just try it, see how it feels for you. But just now, come back to the awareness of your breath, your breathing. your presence of your body and see how we're getting on with those thoughts interrupting your meditations. Just come back to the breathing, the in-breath, the out-breath, eyes closed, lips lightly closed. No meditation blanket, no meditation cushion, no singing bowl. Even try switching the space where you sometimes meditate. Maybe meditate somewhere that might not be so comfortable. You've got a lot of jobs keeping an eye on your ego, on your attachments. It's a minefield. That's why we have to work morning and evening to perfect it. Keep that slate clean, keep wiping it clean. That peaceful essence inside that's always there if you need it. And now we're coming back to the breath. And again, if you're struggling to maintain focus, you can just deepen your breath slightly. But while you're doing this, imagine you're in a meditation hall with fellow meditators and you don't want to you don't want to disturb the meditator right next to you so silently you're making your breaths slightly deeper So as you go about your day, just see what your attachments are, what you can't live without, what you could give away. Just experiment with thoughts at first, then maybe actions, see what it feels like giving away something of value to you. I think I'm 
slightly attached to my singing bowl. Oh well, we can't all be perfect. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe if you have any questions. Please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Peace, peace, peace.